Hey everyone, today I'm here with a haul from Fame Expo, which I attended a couple weeks ago. Um, I won tickets from a beauty blogger named Mai. Her blog is called Portrait of Mai, and she is so nice. She did a giveaway for two tickets, and they were VIP tickets. I could have gone both days, but I only went to one because I had to go to Mayhem Fest <laughs> and see Rob Zombie with my friend. I was a little tired, but it was so worth it because the makeup that they had there was pretty much everything that iMats had, and they had the same discounts, and, you know, most of the same people were there, but it was just way, it was way less crowded, and I really, really enjoyed myself. It was so much fun. So the things I'm going to show you are things that I really had my eye on for a long time. When I first walked in, we had to check in and get our little badges because um, if you got a VIP ticket it's you got let in early so, so after I got my VIP ticket um, there were ladies who were handing out goodie bags and I didn't know they were from NYX at the time but they're NYX goodie bags so this was the first thing that was in there it's the NYX one of the trios and then there was a NYX butter gloss in there and I've heard so much about these, so I'm really excited. I mean, this color is like a bright orange, and I really like bright lipsticks, but I don't know if I'll be wearing this one anytime soon, because it's just like orange. Like, literally, that is seriously orange. And then there was this um, skinny brown liner from the Chocolate Collection, and I actually saw this at Target, and I was wondering about it. So I headed over to... OCC and Sugar Pill and Lime Crime right away because um, I wanted to get in there before things sold out. I got a Lime Crime lipstick. This is the shade No She Didn't. It's just like this amazingly pretty blue. I love Lime Crime lipstick so expect a Lime Crime lipstick review soon. The people at Lime Crime are so sweet. They're so helpful. Doe Deer was there, the founder of Lime Crime, and she was so sweet. We were talking about her. She gave a speech, but I wasn't there to see the speech. Um, it was the day that I wasn't there, but she gave a a mini version of it the um, in front of the booth. And it was mostly about her journey on how she created her own makeup company and it was just really cool to hear her story. I, I recorded a little bit of it and I put it on Instagram if you want to see I made a little video so um, you can see that if you want to hear a little bit of her speech. Um, they had the cutest booth there, a pink wall and it was and it said don't quit your daydream at the top because that's the title of her speech and everybody wrote their daydream on the like what your dream is on the wall I also decided to get a Velveteen. This is the packaging. It's really pretty. I got the shade Red Velvet. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. And this is the first time I've tried it. So far I really like it. It's a matte red, but it makes your teeth look whiter. Um, I think that anybody could pull this color off. It's like, it's just so beautiful. And so then I went over to OCC Cosmetics, Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics, and I picked up the lip tar in the shade Anime. It's like the super bright pink. Um, I have one lip tar. I have the NSFW lip tar, which, which is like a true red, and this was the other one that I've always wanted, so I decided to get this finally, and I got to talk to um, Misty Maven, who is Petrolude, I think that's how you say it, on YouTube, and I met him at IMAT, so it was really cool to see him again. And I got to see Porcelain, who is also a model for Sugar Pill and OCC. They both have amazing makeup, so it was really cool to like see what they were wearing and just talk about lipstick and yeah. Then I went to Sugar Pill because Sugar Pill was right across from OCC. And I got two things. This is the Sugar Pill packaging. I just think their packaging is so cute too. Like them, Sugar Pill and Lime Crime really got it together. This is Stella. It's just like a black with, I think it's blue and red and pink. I, I can't even tell. There's so many colors of glitter in here. And then I got this pressed shadow. It's a matte red. It's called Love Plus. I've been looking for a good red matte shadow for a long time now. I really wanted to give um, Sugar Pearl Press Shadows a try since all I've tried was the loose shadow. Then I think it was Nigel's Beauty Emporium. They had beauty blenders. 
on a great deal. I got two of these and they gave me a little um, beauty blender cleanser sample for free. They just threw that in there because they were being really nice. I got both of these for $22 and that's a really good deal because I think beauty blenders are like 20 bucks at Sephora. Then I went over to Naomi's Beauty Center. They had Makeup Forever, they had Bobbi Brown, Laura Mercier, Too Faced, Smashbox, Lorac. Uh, I'm sure I'm leaving something out, but they had all those brands. And all of those brands were on discount, like 30-40% off too, except for Makeup Forever, which was regular price, which I don't even get why they were there, because why are you going to be there if you're going to be like that? But Too Faced has products that I've been having my eye on for a long time. I got the Boudoir Eyes palette, and I got one of their La Creme lipsticks, and I got the red shade, so um, let me show you what that looks like. I haven't tried it out yet, but I swatched it at the counter, and I've, I love Too Faced eyeshadow palettes, so this palette is something that I wanted for a while, but like I said, I just, you know, didn't want to spend full price. So here's all the shades in this palette. Then I went over to Smashbox and I got one of their lipsticks in from their Be Legendary line. And I've never tried a Smashbox lipstick before. So here's the lipstick. It looks like a really pretty classic red. It's called Infrared. And yeah, that was everything I got. So over time I'll definitely be reviewing all of these products. And I will have a blog post on my haul as well. I put a ton of pictures on Instagram and videos too um, when I was there. So I just want to thank Mai again. So Mai, if you're watching this, thank you so much um, for having a giveaway. It was so great meeting you. As always, thank you so much for watching.